Uh, today marks one week in office for Narendra Modi and his cabinet. Most ministers have had to hit the ground running with work continuing non-stop even through the weekend. Already there have been controversial decisions, big events and crises to tackle. Here's a look back at what the first week was like for India's 15th Prime Minister and his team and what lies ahead. It's just a week since Narendra Modi took oath of office and there is already a huge change in work culture of governance. From indecisiveness to quick decision making, from policy paralysis to seizing initiatives. Indeed, pessimism of the past few years has given way to an air filled with hope and optimism. Modi was considered an outsider with respect to Delhi's political circles. Yet he has quickly taken charge and is already setting the agenda. From setting up an SIT to probe black money to abolishing the UPA's legacy of group of ministers, from calling for a smaller government to asking his ministers to empower bureaucrats, Modi's stamp is clearly visible. Of course, there has been quite a few controversies as well. The first being the needless bragging of the PMO minister on removing Article 370. The ordinance to clear way for Nripendra Mishra's appointment as Modi's principal secretary also came under opposition attack. Another major row was over HRD Minister Smriti Irani's qualification to lead the ministry as well as the apparent inconsistencies in her poll affidavits. Since his appointment, Modi has been working to a plan. His surprise initiative to invite Sark heads for his swearing set the tone for his foreign policy. His 10-point agenda for governance as well as asking his ministers to prepare a 100-day plan is an initiative for transparent and result-oriented governance. Of course, the opposition is not entirely satisfied. But I think uh, the one thing which is extremely significant in the 10-point agenda is that neither is it innovative nor is it inspiring. A week is too little a time to judge a government or a prime minister. Yet signs are clear that we have a prime minister who is pushing his ministers to do more, is empowering bureaucrats to work, is taking measures to fight corruption. PM Modi has begun well. His challenge will be to keep up the tempo and produce measurable results for the people quickly enough. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.